Overcome much, chosen undead. Come hither, child. O oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day Father his form did obscureth, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. O oh, chosen undead, thou hast journeyed far. Hereafter I, Guinevere, shall serve it as thine guardian. If thou so needest, I shall devote all to thine safety. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. Since the day Father his form did obscureth, I have awaited thee, once living, now undead, and a fitting heir to Father Gwyn thou art, O chosen undead, and beseech thee. Succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world, a grave and arduous test of metal, yea, it shall be. Indeed, we had felt the warmth of fire, its radiance and the life it sustaineth. Without fire, all shall be a frigid and frightful dark. Please, Father's role thou should assume, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. King Seeker Frapt, the primordial serpent, shall guide thee. Please, thou shalt... Now thou shalt go forth, chosen undead. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. Through you, her wish will be granted. Have you heard of Seath the Scaleless? In legend, he turned against the ancient dragons. He became Lord Gwyn's confidant, was granted dukedom, 
and was allowed to pursue his research. At the Regal Archives, he immersed himself in research on scales of immortality, the one thing that he did not have. But his very research drove him mad. The Archives became a dungeon, a place for sinister experiments. Now, nobody dares even approach the Duke's Forbidden Archives. It looms over this land high atop the mountain. But I should warn against even an approach. If you require rest, now is the time. That is, after all, what the bonfire is for. <laughs> 